Welcome back to Red Men TV. Liverpool lost 5 0 to Man City. Here's your Twitter reactions to that game. Um, and you know what I have to say? Uh, obviously, we get a whole gamut of reactions of stuff from every possible possible reaction from 1 to 100 there's a reaction on every single integer on the scale um, but I'm pleased to see that the vast majority of them are reasonably level-headed uh, Darren Lear this is L says once Manny was sent off the game was effectively over City up a man can do that to anyone yeah it's tough, isn't it? We, we've just done the instant match reaction podcast, which is like a good 15 or so minutes of the, me and the lads just sat around here just picking the bones of it, which will be up on the website shortly. But kind of saying similar, it's it's a tough one because part of you wants to put your part of you wants to take the red tinted glasses off and look at it and say, well, you know, the, 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 we capitulated in the second half and that's not good. But the other part of you knows that Liverpool were very much even though they were a goal behind when the uh, red card comes, they looked like they had a handle on what was happening. They looked like they were, had the ability to create things and, uh, and what have you. And it just, yeah, whatever we were trying to do completely evaporated once we lost Sadio Mane. And that's not great because that would, again, this is what I mean, take the red tinted the glasses off, try and look at it analytically. And you can say, well, why, this should be, we should have been able to handle that situation, manage that situation a bit better. And I can't disagree with that if I'm perfectly honest. But I think, you know, ultimately as Liverpool fans, I think it's our job. To, to look at it from the Liverpool perspective, to have a bit of to have a bit of bias and what have you, and like I say, I think that it was it was it was a shocking one, and it, and it was a very pivotal moment in the game. I don't think we can deny that. And, but yeah, we didn't, we just didn't acquit ourselves very well after the fact. Own Sunday over absolute shambles. I think the red card and Mane just lowered the spirit in the whole team. Karma for the match against Arsenal, maybe. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe that's maybe it was all Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. Maybe we never knew. Maybe he was to blame for everything. Um, maybe he was the load-bearing poster, if people remember that Simpsons episode uh, that we never knew. Um, yeah, anyway, Sean Kelly, 1977, poo. Uh, but must get over it and move on. Yeah, absolutely. Robin, the R-double. Uh, honestly, not that horrible. Uh, we were in it until the sending off. Scoreline looks a lot worse than it was. 10 men versus Pep is near impossible. And here's the thing, I think there's massive credit done to, got to go to, to Pep Guardiola in that because they pressed that and they, they pressed and did, they did to us what we would have done to te other teams and we have done to other teams. And that's why, pff, ah, look, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not enjoying today. And I don't intend on enjoying the weekend and I can't get any satisfaction from watching any other Premier League football. Um, but, you know, I, I've seen us do that to teams so many times that inevitably, you know, this is this is what football is, isn't it? Sometimes you sometimes you do it to people and other times people do it to you. Life. Um Joe underscore Ken has. I uh, don't know who to blame. The fence was a shambles and Klopp has to work this out for Sevilla. It's not looking if if not, it's looking bad. Yeah, look, the defence is gonna be a thing that we're gonna talk about all season long. I think it's here's the thing about it. If we'd bought Virgil van Dijk, he wouldn't have played today anyway. You know, he just wouldn't have played because he's not played a competitive game of football since January. So even if we had sorted that out, I say it's not. So you can't use that as a thing. If you're saying Virgil Van Dijk, it's not a relevant argument for this. Now the relevant argument is, could we have gone and got another centre half? And the answer to that is, yeah, Liverpool could absolutely have done that. Um, but that's the decision we've made, and we'll know in the fullness of the season if Virgil Van Dijk comes in in January and he ends up being the rock that secures Liverpool doing whatever they do for the season, then it'll be vindicated, won't it? Because we won't have spunked the budget on someone else. We'd have saved for that. But we'll never know the answer to this. It is what it is. Liverpool's defence isn't so bad. I just don't... I, I, it's not... They played poorly today. Let's not let me, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. They were, they were terrible today. Uh, James Morgan, James underscore LFC. Uh, I don't think I'll be watching Match of the Day tonight. No, I'll be there. Fuck Match of the Day. Fuck it in its face. We, we take no pleasure from it. Um, now, I, I, I almost make regret putting it back on series link because at some point I'm going to have to go and find that and I'm going to have to delete it and I'm going to be reminded of this game. That shit. Um, CKLFC, speechless. What worries me more than uh, defenses, the reaction from our players when Manny went off. Yeah, that's it. I just, it was, a, it's just a kick in the teeth. And it, that I've said this uh, again on the Instant Match Reaction podcast is that if we get to half time at 1 0, I think it's just different. But that game's effectively, 
I, 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 had to, I had a go at someone for saying it was game over at half time on Twitter and I apologise now for heat of the moment and what have you but you know with the gift of hindsight coming back from 2-0 down is very very difficult and I think the substitutions we made as well I don't think really helped us I think taking Salah off was again with hindsight was a bit of a mistake we might have just been able to cause them a, a couple of problems because they were going to come forward at us to maybe continue to try and hit them on the break, I don't know. But again, look, the manager makes his decisions and he, and he lives and dies by them. And his decision making pro- up to this point has meant we went all last season unbeaten against all of these top teams in the Premier League. So you know, it's the same guy making decisions, albeit in a game where a decision's gone against them, a massive decision as well. So I, you know, I I'm, I can't be asked getting too too uh, wound up by it. Uh, Peter Dunphy, Bruno's pause, write it off regroup to hell with that ref we'll bounce back immediately no worries well said mate absolutely um greg hudson greg underscore hudson five just have to point out we considered five today and albie wasn't a fault for any of them so will be gutted with himself yeah trent struggled a little bit at times but again going forward you, you can see what a class act he is but it's the thing about sometimes about young players but and then again look i don't think matt have covered himself in glory today particularly once um, in the second half he just looked Slow and his position sense was crap, and Clavan didn't work at all for us. And Emre Chan looked crap as well. We were crap. Liverpool were crap ultimately. Um, one note they didn't tweet in, but a, a point from uh, Robbo Height and our good mate Gareth Roberts from the Anfield rap win 5 0 and sing always the victims sound. Yeah, good on you, Man City. Class act. Um, yeah, good to see if nothing else. The Edison's fine as well, you know. And uh, some of the comments coming out post match. Pep Guardiola saying he doesn't believe that Man is the kind of player who would go into the delivery, injure people. Kevin, uh, that was Guardiola. Kevin De Bruyne is saying he didn't think it was a, a red card as well, and that's that's the point about it. And I think people will will micro analyse it. People look at still images and slow motion replays and what have you. I still stand by. I don't think it was a red card, but it ultimately was a red card. And once it's a red card, Liverpool have to handle themselves better and they have to manage the game better than they did. But you know what? Season's not over. Season doesn't end on four games in. Uh, a lot of football to be played. A lot of great football to be played, and probably a couple of disappointing days along the way as well. Because again, you don't win every game. It's just up to the management team and the players to make sure that we don't get spanked again. Because as ask any fan of the other top teams in the Premier League over the last couple of years, who've pretty much all been on the receiving end of one of these spankings from us, feel shit. It feels shit. Let's not have it happen to us again. Anyway, leave your comments coming in the comments below underneath. If you want to subscribe to Redmen TV, you can. If you need some help pulling this game apart and, and, and relaxing over it a little bit, then the Instant Match Reaction podcast will be on the redmentv.com. There'll be a little annotation link there, and you can click the link in the video info underneath as well. Very, very good stuff. I think very balanced. We've tried to rationalise it, even though we're a bit hot and heavy over it all because it's so raw. But yeah, that should help get you through. And then the final word will be out on Monday as well. So uh, I'd swear of all social media till then, but do watch it and we should help you get your head back on track ahead of Severe. Anyway, thanks for watching. Ta-da.